Hello, and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we're going to talk about Doctor Who. But not about the pops. No, that's just set dressing. <laughs> Uh, and also a collection. But anyway, no, I don't collect a whole bunch of pops. Um, my wife does, but otherwise those kind of things kind of annoy me. But there's a few things that I got, so uh, I think they work pretty well for background imagery. But anyhow, uh, there is an article that I wanted to share with you in regards to what can we expect from... Uh, Doctor Who in 2020. So we already know that in 2019, we're not going to have any Doctor Who at all. Uh, and some people are complaining about that, but uh, you know what? It might be good to kind of give it a little bit of a, a break um, just to let people uh, give them a chance to kind of rewatch uh, Series 11 uh, with the 13th Doctor again, and just kind of let things soak in. Um, it also gives them time to come up with some good stories. Now, I know some people are arguing that the stories were not all that good. I liked them. I thought they were good. It was. I thought they were different. I thought it was a nice, refreshing change instead of the same old, same old, same old stuff. Uh, it was it was beginning to wear a little thin. Um, there were some exceptions, um, but it needed a new facelift, I guess. And I don't mean just a change of face, but it it I think it just needed a a, a whole new feel to it, and that's why I liked series eleven. But let's not ramble off about that. Let's get on and talk about 2020. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is Screen Rant. And what to expect from Doctor Who season 12 in 2020. So what's to come in Doctor Who season 12? Well, season 11 has only just come to an end, but it wouldn't be Doctor Who without looking to the future. Ha <laughs> ha, future and fitting of the show's time travel. That future is rather unclear. Doctor Who season 11 brought about huge changes, a new showrunner, um, new doctor, and with her came not one, but three new companions as friends, as they're now known, Yaz, Ryan, and Graham. Graham's my favorite. There was a change to the structure of the program too. Gone are the arching arching or arcing storylines which spanned two or more episodes replaced with standalone episodes meaning the viewers could dip in and out more easily also gone are the regular Doctor Who monsters and villains season 11 hasn't featured Dalek, Cybermen or any mention of the Master or Missy will Doctor Who season 12 keep the same structure and cast or can we expect some changes well here's what we know Traditionally, Doctor Who has had an annual Christmas special shown on Christmas Day since 2005, but that's all changed. Um, for the first time ever, Doctor Who will be shown on New Year's Day instead. So there's a trailer for Resolution, um, and if you uh, search the internet, you'll be able to find it. And it was written by Chip Noah and directed by Wayne Yip. Yip, yip, yip. Hence, at an episode packed full of drama and possibly the return of the Doctor's nemesis. The doctor looks tense as she reveals she's discovered the DNA of the most dangerous creature on the earth. With many fans speculating, will it Whitaker's doctor a face off against a Dalek for the very first time? The episode will air on BBC One, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the New Year special is, of course, wrapped and ready, but filming hasn't yet begun on Doctor Who season 12. Given that we won't see season 12 for some time, it makes sense that they're not filming yet. But it's been confirmed that Whitaker will return as the Doctor, along with Gil, Cole, and Wash in their friend roles. That's right, they call them friends now, not companions. Um, despite 
starting the year with a brand new episode, there won't be any season of Doctor Who in 2019. And then it just goes on how this has happened before, and the gap between seasons 10 and 11 was the was one of the longest ever. Uh, BBC hasn't given much for the delay, but was, while season 11 has garnered steady ratings and much critical praise, there's a potential of losing momentum completely with such a long gap between seasons. So season 11 was more socio-political uh, than we've seen Doctor Who in many years. I think some would say that that is uh, social justice, but whatever. While some argued that the villains were too weak, others pointed out that the overriding arc was that we should look at the monster as being on the inside. So, can we expect more of this in Season 12? Allergies. Well, possibly. Chris Noth, who played the Trump-inspired Jack Robertson, has said he may come back, as has Alan Cumming, who gave a fabulous turn as King James I. We might also see more of Yaz's family, and even the return of Grace in a flashback. Um, no writers or directors have been confirmed for Doctor Who Season 12, uh, but after taking on a whole new writing team, Chibnall may ask uh, for some of them to return and might even reach out to former Doctor Who writers, such as Mark Gaddis to pen an episode. Peter Jackson remains keen to direct Doctor Who, something that he's made no secret of, and Neil Gaiman is also said to be keen to write for Whitaker's Doctor. Um, no one knows. But <laughs> what to expect from Doctor Who Season 12? It makes you think that there's going to be... Um, like we have a whole lot of information. We don't. I think basically uh, what we'll be expecting is, well, we'll have the 13th Doctor. We'll have the, the Friends. And we'll probably have... Um, standalone stories I think those worked really well and I think it will continue to have not such a maybe not a dark tone but just a, it's hard to explain a more serious tone but yet lighthearted in some ways I just think of the the music and the soundtrack that goes with the 13th Doctor and it's got a really um kind of serious uh dramatic uh almost like an eerie feel to it which i i like I, it's a nice tone a nice change from what we've had so there you go that's some of the things uh that we could expect uh for doctor who's return in 2020 i wouldn't take it all for gospel i mean things are going to change you know, things can change. Things are subject to change. So let's just see what happens when 2020 comes around. And I hope we get to see more of the 13th Doctor after that. But it'll be what it's going to be. But anyhow, thanks for watching. Uh, and thanks for rambling with me. And hey, comments. Comments are always good. Let me know what you think about the whole thing. And I will see you on the next rambling video. Take care. Did you like this video? Well, you might like some of these others. I've got tons of them on a variety of different topics. They are just down-to-earth conversations of things that happen to be going on at the time of recording. Subscribing is an awesome thing, too, because it notifies you of any new video uploaded. Thanks for watching, and we'll ramble again soon.